What's going on everyone? I might sound a little bit sick, so uh, bear with me here. But today we are going to be discussing the patch, the buff that they made from ground to air lock-ons. Now there has been a lot of discussion already going on about this. Several different Reddit threads are talking about this. Really there are just two sides to this. Either people love them or people hate it. So a lot of, of the people that love it are, you know, you know, I'm so tired of, you know, air to ground shitters, you know, killing me and stuff like this. But then there's people on the opposite side talking about how this is going to deter uh, new pilots from being in the game. How there should be a mix of combat, not just everyone killing each other on the ground, but also needing defense to be looking up in the sky as well. Now for me, I am a little biased, I'm going to admit, because I do love flying. And I got hit with a rocket last night and it took a bite out of me. Now, a lot of people are saying that the ground to air buff wasn't the answer, but an air to ground nerf was the answer and should have been done. The true air made a comment that made a lot of sense. He said, I think it's unhealthy for the aircraft game overall and that the balance should have been lock on time based on distance rather than an increase the damage. You can't even fly near a tower fight now since you get lock spammed. Flares help, but don't fix it. Now, the thing with flares is that if your enemy is smart enough and you're flying over, you're gonna get locked on you hit those flares and now your flares are on cooldown but you have people consecutively you know ready to get that lock on timer as soon as those flares pop off so any big fights that you're going to be coming across any big huge fights you're going to be getting hit with sky guards with you know with aa you're going to get these lock ons you're also going to have to worry about other esfs that are in the air now this is commonly you know what how it sh you know should be how it always has been you know you always have those things to worry about but now these the, the the damage is just so much that it's hard to get in, uh, maybe do some damage, help out the team, maybe take out a Sunder, maybe try to you know uh, shoot down some rocket pods, uh, you know to help out a flank that they're that the enemy is trying to do and get out of there. If there is no cover for you as as a pilot, um, you're probably going in there to die, knowing that you're going to die. On the other hand, a lot of people are saying that if you're a good pilot, you should be fine. If you're a good pilot, you're going to know when to go in, when not to go in, how to get to cover quickly, and how to maneuver in a way to be able to get away from those lock-ons. Which I also agree. There are, you know, you really have to watch the battle, and you really have to see just how things are going. But there are going to be times where you're trying to get in there, and you know, things are just not going to work out. Snagglebee said, it's great, air-to-ground shooters have to be careful now. And Path Daddy said, and air-to-air -air pilots even more. Can we please move away from this brainless, stupid hating? Blam320 said, all the air-to-air -air Bushido players complaining that their rearranged honor duels and newbie farming can't go uncontested now. Legit, that's all I see dedicated air-to-air -air pilots doing. They don't actually care about taking out air-to-ground farmers. They just want their own brand of farming untouched. So I would like to know your opinion. How do, how do you guys feel about this? Do you think um, that this was the right decision by uh, buffing the lock-ons? Do you think it was a bad decision? Do you think it's going to deter new pilots of getting out there and, you know, trying to learn how to fly? Um, I mean, there's a, a lot of different ways to take this. Honestly, I feel like I need to fly in more fights uh, since this patch has released to really get a good feeling about it. But um, one thing I would like to go into is a couple of options for pilots. Um, you know, since probably we're going to be using flares for the most part more than we are going to be using our um our fire suppression um i still want to see um you know flying through the air how it's going to be using flares over fire suppression i probably will stick to fire suppression instead of flares uh, just because when you're flying around like i said if if you've been flying around a while you kind of know when to get in and when to get out uh, you know hopefully so i might just keep on running fire suppression the first thing you want to do is with not being able to spawn from bases anymore you know try to spawn from amp stations things like that it's gonna really suck being a pilot because you know now we actually have to put our feet on the ground and run <laughs> so um in construction uh it's usually best to uh you know when you get on the continent to go out in an ant make a little structure real quick silo spawn tube and make your light air pad um you know you can stick up a sky shield if you want to but it's just something so you can keep and you know keep spitting out um you know mozzies or whatever you're flying reaver sites you know keep spitting those out instead of uh you know having to spawn on the base you know find an air terminal but i think that would be the best bet now for for the pilots is to actually uh, build a, a structure somewhere usually around kind of in the center of the map 
in your territory so you know it's quickly you know you can quickly get to uh the bigger fights one thing that i am going to try is the lock on jamming field i i did get that maxed out so allied aircraft within 150 meters of the galaxy um prevents lock on weapons now having a battle gal um you know having one that could heal having one um you know a, a couple of other galaxies that can help out with healing would be nice um we're probably going to try that later on and see if this will really work now you can max out your decoy flares as well uh disrupts lock-ons for eight seconds can only be activated for 25 seconds uh, so there is that 25 second cooldown where you can have several other heavies you know point up and uh you know and aim at you but i don't know if that eight second coincides with the 25 so making it actually 16 or, or 17 seconds while you activate it you get eight seconds Missiles can't hit you, but it starts to count down as soon as you pop that 25 seconds. So I'm not sure if that worked. I honestly haven't really messed with flares too much, to be honest. The 150 is not going to be as far as you might think it is. It's going to be in really close proximity uh, for the lock jamming, which is going to be a problem because if you get that close to your other planes, um, you know, to prevent the lock from jamming, you're going to be getting hit yourself, of course. And it's not like they can get locked and they have missiles flying at them and they come to you you know to prevent that it's only for the prevention now if you're flying in a group trying to get from point a to point b and valks and trying to get transport it would be fantastic it, it, it would be perfect but sending in uh you know it for lock uh, for lock on jamming into the field you know trying to help out your fellow esf pilots it would be i mean you would stay up for a little bit but i think um you know everyone's going to focus fire and you know the galaxy another thing that you're going to want to do as, as a pilot is go into your engineer in engineer certs and go down to your passive systems make sure that you have aircraft synergy max out here while out of combat you are going to be healing your ship passively whether you're in a mozzie whether you're in a reaver scythe any type of uh, aircraft you will start to repair it over time so that might also help with you know not running fire suppression um, but it's good. It, it's at a slower pace, so it's probably better to find a little uh, pocket to, you know, uh, sit down in and prepare your ship and fly back up. But this is also going to be a big one too: is having this aircraft synergy passive system on your engineer. So that's really it for this one. How do you guys feel about the new lock-ons hitting as hard as they do? Let me know in the comments. Like I said, if you think they're a little too strong, if you think this is good for the game. Uh, you know, I want to know what, uh, you know, what other people think. So thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Like and subscribe, of course. And I will see you guys in the next one.